So before I start, just hear me out before I say I'm sure people have heard about the no confidence vote and how Owen Murphy, the House of Ministers, survived barely. Literally, I've used the word very, very, very lucky to not bring down the government. Uh, if they did bring down the government, I would have been a lot more happier because it would have probably brought, brought an end to this crack that's been going on. And, you know, people have been giving out saying, you know, give Owen Murphy a chance. He has, he had the last five years. Um, and homelessness figures are going up and up and up and up and up, especially children's homeless figures. And, you know, he could say that the cows come home, that it's the local council's fault. Um, you can blame Calvin County Council, you can blame Marlon County Council. He's put the blame on the council, saying the councils won't do much. He's over the councils. The uh, he's over the housing, Minister for Housing. He had, can push them on. He can push them on, but he just chooses not to. And I think it's ridiculous that he wasn't that they didn't bring down the government. I don't know why TDs voted to have confidence in him because I don't have any confidence in him. Because good God Almighty, he hasn't changed one thing. Like it would be different. I would love to just have to say he brought down the homelessness figures by a thousand. You know, I've been saying this. There's something happening there, but it's going up and it's going up and it's going up and it's going up and there's no start. There's no stopping it because it just keep going up and it's not going down. It hasn't went down once. Um, and that's, you know, that's obviously saying, you know, what they're doing in the ho Department of Housing, obviously they haven't got a notion what they're doing, and they'd be better off getting toddlers in for play, play school to go and run the government, because that's how bad it's looking in the housing department. And Dublin was voted the world's worst city to get a house and everything there. And that's terrible. That's terrible for the capital city of Ireland to have a reputation like that. That's terrible, especially in the world stage. And, you know, I was thinking yesterday... You know, the big American companies in Ireland, they'd probably take up about six or seven, you know, big, big lumps in India states to build their big industries on. And, you know, they're not too quick to move them out of it. And then they would be very quick to move, you know, somebody who is, you know, can't afford to pay their wet to just kick them out. That's, that's who would, I was just thinking of that. I'm just wanting to say that, um, off the top of that. But the old Murphy, I don't know what planet he lives on. And I mean to say that because, you know, he doesn't have a notion what he's doing. Like, honestly, I haven't, there's never been any improvements. They're building the social housing, right? They are building it. And I see them building it. The couches, they are building it. But, you know, it's not enough to meet demand. And it's simple as that. And, obviously, they're not doing up the houses, the faking houses. There's tons and tons of faking houses that lying around the place. And the couches refuse to buy them. And he's over the housing department. He will put the pressure on the couches to do things. And, you know, he can complain, he can put the blame on somebody else, and he can blame this person, he can blame the council, he can blame everybody else. But at the end of the day, when the hit, when push comes to shove, he's Minister for Housing, he should take the blame. Um, full on, you know, I have no confidence, no confidence whatsoever. If they got a dolphin in from the sea and put him in the chair instead of Owen Murphy, I think it would do probably better. At least if it brought down 200. No, but it's just... I don't know, like, this government hasn't got a notion. Like, I don't know how to do it in other countries. Like, I'm looking at Finland. I was looking at Finland today. Their housing forced scheme. You know, that's a great thing. And the Irish government hasn't even bothered their backsides. They've been too busy dilly-dallying around a big American industries to go and go over to Finland and see what they're doing over there. That they have nobody lying on the street. And the way they look at it over in Finland, the way I like about it, what I like about it, it's not a reward. In this country, it looks like it's a reward. Like if you walk 6,000 years, you might, get, you might get an award of a house. You might. But somebody that comes here five seconds might get a house quicker. Um, but in Finland, everybody's equal. And simple as that. And everybody's entitled to a house. Everybody's entitled to that stepping stone of health and education to build, you know, the houses to build it up. Uh, to your education and your health and obviously to improve your health and education if you have a house. And you know they have cop on over there. The, really, the, fin the Finnish government have a bit of cop on. And they're the only government looks like in Europe that has any cop on. Because Ireland doesn't seem to know how in the name of God to solve this housing crisis. How in the name of the God to solve it. Especially if you go into the Department of Housing they probably haven't got a notion what, what's a house. To be honest. They probably don't even know what's a house. But just saying to people, you know, the Irish government should. If right was right and wrong was wrong, they should go over to Finland and be like to the Finnish government, you know, we do need a bit of help. Because Finland, you know, they know that stuff. I'm not going to lie to people. I've been looking at what they've been doing in the Department of Housing in Finland. They, have, they know that stuff. And I'm not going to lie to people because they're the only country in Europe, you know, 
huge, huge investment in public housing and in getting people off the street. It's, it's you know, it's just unbelievable. Like, the amount of money they're putting into it is unbelievable. They make sure that nobody dies on their streets. And in this country, they're just like, oh, couldn't give a damn. That's really what the government over here just, you know, it's just, it's just mad. It's just mad. It's how one country could do so well. It has a small, a bigger, a smaller, it has five million people. Finland has five million people. And Ireland has, you know, near five, five million or something like that. Nearly roughly one the same. Maybe a few, a few thousand more maybe in Finland. Um, and, you know, the Irish government doesn't seem to have a notion what they're doing. But anyway, I'm not going to say any more because everybody knows what I think of Owen Murphy now. And I'm not going to take it back. I'm not going to take it. Unless he does something. Unless he does something and I see improvements. I, I will give him credit that there is loads more housing being built than there was back in 20, 2008. 2010 up there up there in them times i do admit that and we admit that there has been a lot more couch houses built and i admit that and you know but the, the faking houses really you know they should look into that i anyway, know thank you fortune